Hello, welcome back to another episode of This War of Mine with your host, The Gamesman. Here we are, day number 38, people. Um, Pavel has been searching for supplies and brought home some really interesting things. We didn't actually get that much on the last run that we went to the warehouse. We sort of bugged out. Um, but at least we got a good look at the building and what to expect. A um, little can of food, some fertiliser, one electronic part. Um, I could have made a full stack of that but I, I missed it, uh, to be honest. Um, some gun parts and components. So let's click on and get on with day number 38 here today. We're going to start off by doing the usual routine. We're going to send all these dudes to bed that need to be going to bed. Uh, Glenn is the man and this dude. Go to bed, Rip. Okay. For starters, we'll grab that food. Now it is day number 38, so today is the day that we will be feeding people. Um, we're going to have a look at our things in a very short minute. Okay, that's done. Let's get some more meat in there. We've got 33 meat and 19 veg in the cupboard, so we've got plenty to work with. Right, we'll get Glenn up here and then we'll have a look at our things. We've also got the water to keep on with as well. Right, Glenn, do your thing. We're going to make um, four. I think it's a pretty round number. Let's do it. Okay, let's take a quick delve into our things here. 57 water, we're starting to get down now. Uh, I mean, we've still got heaps, but you know. Uh, 11 sugar, we can make a brew. Um, what else do we have? Components, still short. Wood is still short. Gun, com gun components is what we need. Uh, weapons parts, should I say. In fact, we don't really need them because we've uh, um, fixed all of our weapons already. We've got 205 bullets, two knives, three vests. And a little bit of fuel, not much fuel. So we've either got to go out, get some fuel, or we've got to get a whole heap of wood to turn into fuel. Um, I prefer chopping things up on site and bringing them back, because they do stack in uh, higher quantities. And we have a perfect tomahawk there, so we don't have any durability taken off that yet. Right, how you doing Glenn? Still doing a cook? Okay. So how about our other dudes? Rick hungry tired, Pavle hungry tired, Daryl hungry and tired as well. Okay, so since we don't really have enough to, oh, hang on, go back to bed you. Um, since we don't really have enough to upgrade any of these or make the other veggie garden, I think we're going to make a couple chairs and chuck them down in here today. Um, oh, here we go, Franco! Franco, my friend! Um, now I was actually looking back on this episode and thinking why did I put it here and not up here um, and I'm not sure why the basement does look pretty creepy it's it is a pretty bad place to set up a wee um, happy area down in the basement um, but we can't move them unfortunately I mean it would be good if we could click on the click on a piece of furniture or an item and be able to move it around the base, but we cannot. Franco, what do you have for us today? Dude, you're going to be rich when you walk away from us today, because we're going to throw in a oh, shotgun, eh? We'll buff that in there, grab all your components that you'll allow us to grab. Okay, we've got to deal with that. What about... One fuel. Stinge. Okay, we'll do that deal. And we'll give him another one. Boom, and it goes. Okay, what can we grab now? Let's grab the wood. And we've got to deal with that. Alright, do that deal, dude. One more gun. Um throw that one there and grab the water. I wonder how many of these he'll give us. All of them. 
Excellent. Won't do. Okay. Well, let's do that deal. What about your bullets, dude? No. Okay, that's the AK deal. Right, we're going to be buffing one more shotgun in, and we're going to get the rest of these. Take the alcohol. Oh, really? Won't do. Stinge. And we're going to deal with that. Um, I think that's... What if we chuck those out and grab bullets? Ooh. Minus one bullet. Okay, I think that's cool. It's still pretty pretty much a bad deal for a fully working shotgun, but we're looking at bullets for fuel. So I think we'll do that deal. We don't really need these at the moment, but why not just grab them? We may need them in the future. Alright, Franco, you're gone, dude. Get out of here. Go back to your folks. Alright, Glenn. So let's go and get some filters underway. Dudes, go up and eat some food. Alright, filters, where are you? Okay, I'll make three. Daryl, get up here. And Rick, go and sit on a seat. Pavle, guitar. Actually, oh no, here we go. Where's that, um, Daryl? Get some lessons, dude. Oh, what am I up to? Daryl, get some lessons. Rick, get some food. You. Alright, we'll go and have a look at the um, alcohol as well. We need to set up another seat up there as well. We can make two. Do it, dude. Slowly running out of time. It's coming up to the end of the day. But at least it's warm. Still got fuel in the um, fire, we've got one left. Excellent. Okay, you come over here and we're going to make one more chair to start, sit up here. A rickety old chair will do. only put it here. That sucks. I want to get it a bit closer. Alright, let's just place it there. Rick's still doing a filter. Brilliant. Okay, guys. So, yeah, we can only fit two chairs up in this um, wee area here. A little bit unfortunate. I wouldn't mind going and smashing that chair up and reclaiming it and putting it down here but then again I really want to put them up here I don't know I'm in two minds what do you reckon guys um, down in the comment section whether we should move our lounge set up to this room up here or leave it down in the basement um, we can chop the chair up but we cannot remove this so this will be permanently here not a problem though we won't upgrade it if we decide to move up in this area here. So let's hear from you guys down in the comment section and let me know whether you want me to move this lounge area upstairs or leave it where it is. Um, time is running out. We are upon the night. Well, the night is upon us, should I say. Pavle, you're on the hunt today. Guard, guard and sleep clean. Where are we going to go today, guys? Um... I would like to go back to the hotel, uh, back to the warehouse, 
We haven't been to the hotel yet, or the garage. We've still got four places we haven't been. Our semi-detached house, ruined villa, the garage, and the hotel. So, not sure where we want to go today. I would like to take Pavle back to the warehouse, to be honest, and go and try and pick off a few more of these dudes. So let's prepare. We're going to take our trusty old knife, wherever it is. Don't tell us we sold it. Ah, here it is here. Um, let's take the knife, gun, best helmet, and some bullets, same as last time. I think we're going to need more than 20 bullets. Take 40. And that is our loadout, guys. Let's do it. Day number 38, loot job. Looking forward to it. Here we go. We're not going to muck around, we're going to get straight in there. And we're going to try and uh, do some breaking and entering into this area here. All right now, he's just gone through. And here he is right here. Okay, we've got one dude just walked through. He is going upstairs. Right, same as what we did last time. Here we go, guys. Oh, he's going up. Did they hear that? Don't think so. got his attention this time. Yes we did. Right here he comes. Now hopefully he doesn't just shut this door. Come on guy, keep walking through. It's just your imagination, dude. Okay, well this is a bit stealthier. I wonder if we can head up. This guy doesn't look like he's left this area. We've got this guy coming down. We're going to stab him in a minute. Here we go. Hide. Alright, anyone else coming? Doesn't look like it. Okay, he's going up. Let's scavenge this guy quickly. Shit. Oh, what? Definitely going to have people coming in now. Oh, here we go. Yes! Hide. Hide, dude. Okay, he won't. Alright. So I've killed three dudes. We have to be very careful now. Halfway through the night. Excellent, grab it all. Come downstairs, like a hero. And we're gonna loot this dude, and then we're gonna check out what's down in this basement, but, because I do notice there's some blocked doors, um, and there's stuff to steal as well. Fantastic, okay, we've got another bulletproof vest here. I believe there's still guys here, so can't take any more. Alright, let's unblock that door. Ah, we've got barred doors here as well. 
this was stealing last time and now it's open hand, so... Ah, right. Okay, interesting. We're not going to go up there just yet. We're going to go back here. And what do we have in here? It looks like meds. Right, I just want to head through here. Okay. Have a look through the door, dude. See who we can see. We can't see anyone. I don't think there's anyone left. I think we're all clear. Dudes. Let's go upstairs again quickly. Up here. right now over here there'll be food okay nothing we're gonna take 330 got plenty of time open the door okay nothing there all right plenty of good stuff in the fridge here. We'll leave that for another day. Upstairs. In this door. Okay, really got to keep an eye on that time now. Alright, take another gun part. I'm pretty sure there's still going to be heaps of stuff over that side. Let's go through. And then we're going to get out of here. Okay, it's locked. Excellent. Alright dudes, that was another murderous day at the warehouse. So we came back, yeah and last time I mentioned this um, tank, man that looks absolutely awesome, I can't zoom in anymore but that is far out, that's cool. Pavle is back, that is day number 38, loot run done. Awesome guys. Let's see if we were raided overnight and how many bullets did we use. So we got some more guns to trade anyway, we basically got what we gave to um, Franco, minus a couple. Yes we were raided, and how many bullets do we use? We used eight, not too bad. Um, it seems that Rick is starting to feel a bit unwell also, which is a bit of a bit of a bummer, but that happens, so we're going to, uh, in the next episode we're going to get Rick sorted out. Pavle has been searching for supplies and brought home some interesting things. We got a bulletproof vest, we got an AK-47, some more bullets. Another shotgun, another handgun, and some weapons pass. Someone tried to rob us. It was quite a tough group, but we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were armed, none of us wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. But yeah, they did use up quite a big quantity of our bullets. Um, I was thinking it would be like 20 or something, but eight's not a problem. And yeah, we did bring home a heap of bullets anyway. So. Dudes, if you liked Pavle's Murderous Rampage today, hit the like button, feel free to share the video and subscribe to the channel for daily. This war of mine to come in the future. Until then, take care, have an awesome day, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.